this is a Noma oscillating ceramic tower heater. This is something we use here at home and it's not working. The fan's not starting, it's overheating and we've had this problem before. screws and then this pops out yeah so oh that's not spinning very easily let's plug this in I'm thinking that this is jammed up so it's supposed to oscillate heat and the fan turns on it has a safety switch so if it falls over or it's not seated properly on the floor it won't start up light is on so off fan only first level of heating second level of heating and this okay well the fan the tower does oscillate but the fan doesn't start up and I'm thinking this is probably all jammed up so it's starting to heat up but it'll overheat because that's not starting and it'll shut off so oh it's, it's trying to start look at this Oh yeah, this is jammed up. Okay. Unplugged. Let's um uh, maybe eight millimeters, ten, three eighths. And a couple of these here. Smaller than eight millimeters. What do I have here? Five sixteenths. Still too big. How about oh, this is absolutely tiny? This is a quarter of an inch, and that won't work. So forget the fancy stuff. Let's get some simplified scripts here. It won't budge easily. The entire shaft. Is the shaft turning? Not sure about that. Maybe not. Oh, that's good. Oh, this will be an easy fix. Okay. Okay, we'll have to go deep down into these holes. Six screws, much deeper in. Beautiful. Okay. Four. really expecting a whole bunch of crap in here. It's really not that bad. Unless... No, this should spin more easily. Let's plug this back in. Ah, uh, see, it's barely... It's barely moving. Oh, there we go. Still. There's too much tension on this. Unplugged once again. What we can do. Okay. Let's take apart the motor. This is hot. Yeah, there's a bit of heat. Long screw and a small lock washer. Both here. This. Oh, okay. What do you call these pins that are are driven through? Um, there's nut. They're forced in. And if we remove this pin. This is 
removed, it, it's actually a, a hollow pin. And when you drive it through a hole, it compresses. So now we can take this off. Does it fit in okay? Oh, oh this, oh, that's, that's not right. Eek. It should spin freely and easily, and it's not. Yeah, these I think these are brushes used for uh, crafts and arts and terracotta T3, um, possibly some sort of uh, sculpting. And these are really used to, to clean my uh, my paint, my sprayer. So let's try with this here. Maybe even. Um, better but yeah let's clean that you can tell when I get into a project that's when everything gets thrown everywhere that's why I try to keep everything in its right place everything has a pegboard well well pegboard some sort of holder small container motor here fits into this hole which also pivots but it's held securely there the windings clip into place right here there we go. and then this top part goes here and everything is held securely in place with these about eight inch, well, one eighth or one inch long screws with the lock washers. Let's just not tighten that right away. Put this one in first. And let's plug it in again. like this to just like this yep unplug and I see a little plastic washer here I think this was underneath there So this little plastic or Teflon washer, we can remove all of this now. I think, well, there's one here already and there's one there too. Let's go in. Let's start this guy off. 
Okay. Good. Screw, lock washer. That little pin. So this is a... I have to find out what the name for this is. Is there one side more, more compressed than the other? I don't think so. Get one side. Align these up. Align that up with the hole. Now I'll try to show you what I'm doing here. There must be a brilliant way of doing this. Hold on. This is wire. Oh, it does fit. Wire from my uh, my welder. I was doing some welding a couple of days ago. So, what I can do, just to align this, put this there. Okay, let's push this out of the way. Okay, so this is aligned. Oh, look, it's holding on by itself. long enough to fit into the shaft and I'll fit this guy over here Is this better I think this might be better Use uh, this uh, this wire just long enough to align the pin with the shaft, the hole in the shaft, and get my fingers out of the way. Possibly, you know, this right there should should work, right? So it's slipping to the side every time. Okay, so I'll be using a... So, how I do it, I guess, isn't really important. It's just that, okay, this has to come together. Yeah, so I'll use uh, my vise here. Yep, that'll be good. 
Exacto. Oh. Yep. Unpluggerate it. This is okay. This little pin sits in this slot right here. So we just have to align the pin with the slot. Good. 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 Wonderful. This fits right here. And then Trying to keep some of the uh, the hair and fur away from the fan and the heating elements. So two small screws, the black ones, here and here. been using this for, um, would I say close to a decade? Maybe not 10 years, but six, seven years. Just this, this little unit underneath the, uh, one of the work desks really heats up an entire room in the basement. After all, I am your biggest fan. <laughs>